Hello YouTube, how are you? Yeah, I hope you're fine. Well yesterday I decided to go over and see what this Zipcast was all about and I've opened an account as you can see, here we go. I'm currently offline, I've got a different picture because um, it took so fucking long to get the information in there. And as you can see my video is still converting that I uploaded yesterday afternoon and my other video is still converting that I uploaded yesterday afternoon. So, so far, this is what I actually think of fucking Zipcast. What a load of fucking shit. Seriously, it does not take 24 hours for a fucking movie to fucking... What's his name? Look, according to that, it's 2 minutes 58, but it's still in, it, it's still in fucking conversion progress. That's all I've had all the way through. It took fucking 3 hours to get that picture to come up. Um, it's probably because it's still not that many people on it, but as far I'm not very... I've, this is a mov, okay? They're all dot mobs, and if Zipcast can't take mobs, I'm not interested because I've got a Mac. Okay, um, my other friend put MP4s up. Is this going to play now? No, see, my other my other friends put MP4s up. They've not converted. But then when I go to my other friend from YouTube, um, they always seek. Her videos seem to be up. Oh no, that one's converting. Look, but the others have been up. That's been up eight hours. Look, eight hours, and it's still converting. One day ago, two day ago, it's, it's just, it is, it's shockingly slow and I ain't got this much time to waste, I'm sorry. But YouTube is still my favourite and I couldn't give a fuck if it's censored. Because I'm not being funny, I think Zipcast is as censored as fucking YouTube. Because, you know, you might as well censor it. Because what's the point in, you know, reporting news now and then getting it fucking converted three days later? You know, um... So yeah, I'm going to keep the channel open, I'll, I'll, but I won't be logging in much because it winds me up. It's so fucking slow. Um, it's like old YouTube used to be. Now, now back in the day, old YouTube used to take a little while to convert videos and, 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 and to migrate out. But a couple of hours at tops. Not fucking 24 hours. 24 hours I've been waiting for my videos to convert. And my friend, Sonic Lady, um, that's not actually a proper name. Um, she, uh, sorry, Sonic Lady eighty nine. She she um, <clears throat> she's uploaded hers as MP fours, I think, and they're not converted either. And that was three days ago. So if 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 Zipcast can get their fucking videos working, then I'll have it as a backup channel. But currently, what I'm using Zipcast as more than anything is for music. I haven't put myself in as a guru. I put myself in as a musician. Don't get me wrong. I will put some matrixy kind of music on and and stuff to do with the New World Order and I will still wake people up on there and I will probably do the occasional rant if the fucking videos ever convert <laughs> yeah? convert from what? MOV! YouTube needs MOV I used to upload an MPEG MPEG 1 and MPEG 2 because you used to get nice quality but it used to take an hour to fucking convert I now upload everything in MOV because YouTube doesn't have to convert it it's the only format I think that you don't have to convert or do anything with it straight in, bang, on like a video's up within the time it takes to upload it, I do it on the Mac, it takes 25 minutes to upload it, 10 minutes to render it, 25 minutes to upload it, and it's there, instantly, there's none of this bullshit. So, the principle of why people are going to Zipcast and opening accounts, I get, right? Now, I'm sorry, but I love YouTube, okay? I love YouTube, YouTube is just... It functions correctly. I couldn't really give two flying fucks about censorship to be some extent because every fucking thing's censored. It don't matter who you are. If I opened a web page now for videos, I'd have the same problem Zipcast has got because nothing would fucking convert. And then, <laughs> yeah, and then I would, you know, if I wanted people to advertise on my web page, which is how these programs work, because we don't pay for a subscription, they have to earn money from somewhere, but if you're, your advertiser's Coca-Cola, they can dictate to you what you want, what you censor and what you don't censor, just like the television. It's exactly the same. That's why, back in the day, when, you know, in England, we have TV channels which haven't got any advertisements in them. They're British Brainwashing Corporation's channels, that's what I call them now, but BBC. And I always used to watch the BBC over ITV or Channel 4 or any American cable t telly because it didn't have fucking adverts. And adverts wind me up. The fucking volumes turned up ten times. You get fucking an American telly. They have about 25 adverts in a row. I don't know how you cope with it. It's bad enough with about three or four. 
right? Every 15 minutes, fucking six or seven adverts of bullshit, yeah? I can't cope with it, it does my head in. And I always could see that the, gov that, that the TV would only report certain things because of its advertising contracts. And I could see that ages ago. But British Brainwashing Corporation was like government run telly. And, you know, I suppose in a way I could see that. But I knew that at least the government isn't going to protect itself because Coca-Cola is its fucking sponsorship. So BBC ain't going to say there was an issue with Coca-Cola, right? Say that it was killing people. Well, we know it is. But say it was and BBC had found this evidence. They'd report that, oh, Coca-Cola's killing you. Where ITV would be like, well, it's been seen that Coca-Cola might have a little bit of an issue with one of their sweeteners. But they're looking into it and they're going to correct it because they care about you. That would be the difference. Yeah? So any kind of internet... Thing me unless I've got billions of pounds and can host an internet page free of charge for everyone to use and post whatever the fuck they want, it's always going to be censored. I know it's shit, right? But all we can do is just have different avenues of where we can think. Like zip cast, okay, I'll keep it there, right? Um, it's not going to be any good if you need any urgent news right now. But I'm just hoping that this is just a, a small glitch and I hope Zipcast you sort it out. And the other thing, it's going to be strange. It's going to be really, really strange going, Hello Zipcast, how are you today? Oh, it's just, it's hello YouTube. That's, all these things, all these things. Uh, but, um, yeah, not too impressive with it really. Like the format, looks lovely, like the old YouTube. And to be fair, right... We, we went through all that bullshit, didn't we? Do you remember when we changed to this format, right? And everyone's like, well, they're censoring us. They're censoring I actually prefer this format now to the format that Zipcast's got. How the fuck did we do that? Click fucking nine videos to show them in different orders. And, oh, my God. It was stressful. <laughs> so, it has, it has pros, but c currently it has a very big con. None of the fucking videos convert. So... Finding it difficult to convert myself. Okay, peace, love, and light. Oh, and also on the back end of this, um, I've decided to do a cover, um, because I just fancied it, and I've always sung this song anyway. I, I to be honest with you, I usually sing this song um, that I'm covering when I'm pissed, um, and it's "Stand by Me," and I usually get someone right. I go right, come on, then you. I want you going doom, doom, do do doom, doom, do do doom, doom, do do that's the whole song. Just repeat that about mm, ten times and you've got the whole song. Um, so I used to get someone to sing that so I could sing the actual lyrics and other people would sing. And um, We used to always sing it on work dues. I think the last time was when I worked for Fuji when we're pissed. So, you know. Um, yeah, I'm going to do a cover of that. Um, it's actually done. Um, I'm just actually making the video um, in progress right now. Uh, yeah, peace, love and light. Right, I'm going to show you behind the scenes of how I, because a lot of people have said to me, how do you, how do you get the transitions to match and sequence up when you um, make a video? Well, what I do is this is how I do it. I lay in, this, this is video, right? These two here are the same track. And what I do is I split them. That's the main part that's going to be played. That's where the transition's happening. That's where the transition's happening. Um, and I've made them all separate. And the reason why I do them like that is that then I line them up. And you can see the dissolves there. And as I dissolve, it dissolves into the next thing. Can you see it's changing into the dissolve? And it overlaps completely into the next bit. And that's how I do it. That's how I line it all up. Now, all this lyric here is bullshit. I've already lined up the original original background music which if I just drop it in there will match sync, sync to that completely right but that's what I do I divide up the whole track of what bits I want it to be because on each each of these bits here it's on a different backdrop the different backdrop behind me and I wanted it to just blend I didn't want it to just be boring and you know the back to blend I wanted the whole lot to blend so that's how I do it and you can see the greens change a different color here so that's going to be difficult to chroma key but what I'll do is I'll save this as it is I'll then delete everything apart from the next bit that I need to thing me. Move that along there, render that all as one clip. Take it into FX Composition Lab, make it pretty, bring it back and then just literally lay it over the top of the length of that. But I need two clips to know how long the clip is and where exactly it goes in the original footage. So yeah, that's how I do it. Um, all this is done in, um, in FX Composition Lab. Um, these bits here and, and then obviously 
I use Vegas to do the rest. So that's um, behind the scenes in um, behind the scenes and the, you know the green screen and whatever else. But you know I'm just literally playing to a green screen. And as you can see down here, that the sofa's in the corner. I've had to zoom in slightly so um, you don't get the corner of the sofa because I can't mask. Oh, I can actually mask and thing me, but then you'd have the problem then if that corner's not missing on the edge of the, the actual picture. If my guitar goes into that, it will look really stupid. It will cause a, you know. And also, can you see that black line underneath? Yeah, that's because I'm not matched to the aspect ratio, so I've got to turn that off as well when I, when I thing me it. Mm. Otherwise, you get a nice line down the bottom, and then you look detached from the backdrop, which is really, really good. And as you can see, there's no line underneath in any of these. So yeah, that's how I do it. So anyone wants any tips or any help with any kind of special effects, green screen or anything like that, then just shout. Or you want a logo making. I have made a few of my friends logos. Um, I do do them. I do help people with things like that if you if you need things. So yeah, peace, love and light. I'm still saying YouTube, not Zipcar. Bye.